Good morning, everybody. This is Mr. Silvera here, principal of Joseph Case Junior High School, with our next backyard enrichment video. This is backyard enrichment video number 27, shot here in the early morning, my backyard uh, in Swansea. As you can see, it is a very, very nice morning. The sun's coming up, lots of birds chirping away in the background. I guess that's what our being in the backyard in the morning is all about. We will begin our backyard enrichment video today with uh, some appreciation. This is Teacher Appreciation Week, and all week long, we like to take time to appreciate all the great things our current teachers do. Also, reflect back on some of the teachers we've had in the past that have made a difference to us. And if it's possible for you uh, to reach out to one of them, let them know the impact that they had on you, I think that will be very much appreciated um, by a hardworking teacher. Today we, we reach out to appreciate Miss Reese. Miss Reese is an eighth grade English teacher and she does a great deal of things for our school. She is our soccer coach, she is our basketball coach, and she is our softball coach for the girls at our school. So she has a great part in working with our kids and, and you know helping them to become the best people that they could possibly be. Miss Reese has been co-coordinator of our eighth grade trip for quite a few years now and does a great job with that as well. Ms. Reese, we appreciate you and all the things that you do for our students and for our school. I hope that you are having a fantastic teacher appreciation week. So, the weather today will be pretty good. Yesterday was fine. We managed to spend some time out in the yard playing a little bit of wiffle ball. Um, we had a card game after dinner. We played scat last night, and Cole was victorious in last night's card game. Overall, uh, when all the work was done, we had a pretty nice family time. Today, I think the weather's going to be pretty good again, so no reason you can't get out there and see what you can see. Uh, the other day, when I was looking out in the yard, I saw a pretty common creature around here, and I thought that, let's learn a little bit more about it. I thought it would be an interesting subject of our backyard enrichment video. So let's take a look at uh, what I saw running around on my lawn. This is the Eastern Chipmunk, Tamias striatus, a member of the squirrel family in the order Rodentia, or rodent. It is believed that the word chipmunk is derived from Chetamnon, the name given to it by the Chippewa Indians. The Eastern Chipmunk is a small, brownish, ground-dwelling squirrel, typically five to six inches long and weighs about three ounces. It has two tan and five blackish longitudinal stripes on its back and two tan and two brownish stripes on each side of its face. The longitudinal stripes end at the reddish rump. The tail is three to four inches long and hairy, but not bushy. The eastern chipmunk lives in deciduous wooded areas and urban parks throughout the United States and southern Canada. It prefers locations with rocky areas, brush or log piles, and shrubs to provide cover. Chipmunks eat seeds, berries, nuts, and fruit, but they also eat insects, insect larvae, slugs, snails, and earthworms. Occasionally, they will eat small birds and birds' eggs, frogs, and small snakes. Chipmunks possess cheek pouches in which they store food before depositing it in their burrow. Chipmunks construct underground nests with extensive tunnel systems, often with several entrances, to hide the construction of its burrow. The eastern chipmunk carries soil to a different location in its cheap pouches to do this. It lines the burrow with leaves, rocks, sticks, and other material, make it even harder to see. Eastern chipmunks usually mate twice a year, once in the early spring from March to early April, and again from early June to mid-July. The female leaves the male after mating, and he does not share in the rearing of the young. A litter of two to five tiny, hairless, and blind young are born after a 31-day gestation period. At six weeks, they begin to take short trips out of the burrow. At week seven or eight, the mother becomes more aggressive toward her offspring to prepare them for their independence. Two weeks later, the mother denies them access to the burrow. The young are forced to disperse and find or dig their own. When the young disperse in the spring and fall, Adults occupying nearby burrows give loud chip-chip-chip calls outside the burrow entrance to notify the young of occupied territory. Chipmunks enter a restless hibernation as winter approaches and are relatively inactive from late fall through winter months. 
They do not enter a deep hibernation, but rely on a cache of food they have brought to their burrow. Some become active on warm, sunny days into the winter, and most chipmunks emerge from hibernation in early March. Predators of eastern chipmunks include hawks, owls, foxes, raccoons, snakes, weasels, coyotes, bobcat, lynx, domestic dogs, and domestic cats. Take a look around your yard. It's likely you'll see a little chipmunk scurrying around in the spring and summertime months. Well, that's today's Backyard Enrichment video. I shall be back with you tomorrow for the 28th edition of Backyard Enrichment videos, the Friday edition. I hope that everybody has a fantastic day today. When the work is done, I hope that you can get out in the yard, have some fun, take in some fresh air, and see if there's some new things that you can see and learn about. We're all in this together, everybody. We're all Cardinals. Have a great rest of the day.